Okay. okay. Little, Little orange. orange. Uh, hold on a sec. sec. Little orange button. Okay, yeah, I see it. Okay. So, hold on a sec. Hear me? Yeah, can you exactly, can you tell me exactly what a layer is? Because I know I, I want to really absorb this. Because uh -huh. like you mentioned about the building the Science Museum in Golden Gate Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just, I just want to know, like, what exactly a layer is. Okay, and, like, so a layer is simply a way to group things so they all look and act alike. So if things are, if you place things on a layer, you're going to group them together so that they look and act alike. Now, they're not physically attached. But they're all going to look the color that you set. And they're all going to have the line type that they set. And they're all so going exactly, to... Like my, my other architecture teacher told me that... Um, told me that... That the layer... You can't like, like if I say I wanted to draw like... Uh, a phone for, for a desk or for like for an office and like and I wanted to have a certain that what I if I want so, so you're saying I could make that a layer yeah so that everything having to do with that phone you could put on one layer and that's yeah, cool say, right so let's oh. yeah so that's a really good way to think of it and let's say you made, let's say you made a tic-tac-toe, right? A tic-tac-toe game. All the lines that make the tic-tac-toe board, you could put on one layer. And then you could put some X's and you could put those on the X layer. And you could put some O's and you could put those on the O layer. And so then every time you wanted to, make an X, you could you could just copy it and it could be on that layer and you can see all your X's as red and all your O's as blue. Oh. So oh. it's just a way of grouping and looking at things. That's all a layer is. A way of grouping and looking at things. So oh. So now you can imagine when you're drawing, if you have hidden lines, you want them all to look different than center lines, right? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well, that, you know, it's interesting because that is where I actually have, a, have I'm having a hard time. Right. Because like right here, I'm going to click my, my line type right here. And you said, you talked about, you know, these, these guys right here. And yep. I'm, I'm, right now I'm going to click this. And what I wanted to know was, is I, I'm, I'm loading it right. I just, I just loaded a dotted line just now. Yep. But the problem I'm having is I want, I, Okay, like I go right here and I'm going to check that layer right there. Hold yep. on. There we go. And I, it's on right now, but I mean, but like, watch this. Yeah, that's because you picked up a messed up layer that's not going to work. So you pick, you pick an ISO European layer that's in millimeters. And it's tiny, oh, and it's not going to work. That's why yeah. I told you a very specific set to look at. Okay. Oh. So. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did. I sorry. I, I had no. I, I had no idea about that. Yeah. Oh man. So that's okay. So load, oh. load one called hidden two. 
Hidden 2. Yeah, I'm looking for right, that one right there. Yep, Hidden 2. Okay, and select it as open. Select it. Oh, you. Yeah, there you go. Click on Hidden 2. Well, no, you didn't click on it. Go back to your line type. You got to select it. There you go. Okay. So let me see. Oh, so, look. Now zoom oh, in. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I did not. I did not realize that. I did not. Well, was not aware of those ISO lines. Yeah. So so, and that's uh, you know they have so much in AutoCAD that it's hard hard to figure out, right? What all yeah. is going on? So so it's just a matter of picking the right ones that are gonna work. And now of course you would want to rename that layer hidden. So that when you draw a hidden line, you know, oh, that's what I want to do. And then that line is going to look right. Does that help out? Yeah. But the, so the, what I wanted to ask, another question I had was, was, um, was, um, was, hold on. Um. Was another question I have was right here what where um on my your module you know which is this this is going to be um 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 this is going to be um the one about what you said um. The module about I want to really get the grips of this because I want to, you know, I want to really know what what you're asking. Yeah. So right here is um right here on annotations. Now I was kind of able to get the hang of the um um. You know, from the, a little bit of the annotations, like you mentioned about, you know, linear and what right. the, you know, about like measuring and stuff. But can you tell me what what you mean, what what you're talking about with the annotation layers? What exactly is that? All okay. About? So so annotation is a word that counts for a lot of different things. Okay. So, like, you just drew a line that's going to be part of a thing, right? Yeah. That thing is going to be a building or a chair or a phone or, yeah. or you know, it's a thing, right? Yeah. When you yeah. want to describe it, those are your annotations. All dimensions, notes, title blocks, um, um, you know, circling something to call attention to it, all those things, weld symbols, all that kind of stuff is called an annotation. Okay? It, an, an. I, 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 I kind of got the hang of it because isn't that like if I wanted to put like something on my drawing saying this is two inches or two feet here? Or yeah. A radius of this amount. Yep. So I want to make sure I've really got what you're got what you're really asking me. Like I want to make sure because this is a little complicated. It was a little complicated for me to understand. Okay. So it, it sounds like you're know. getting it pretty well. So let me do this. I'm going to give you two things, and you tell me which one is the annotation, and which one is the thing. So stop sharing. Uh, uh, let's see. How do I want to do it? No. Um, um, I'm just going to describe two things. Okay. Uh, and I think I'm going to do it on Jamboard. So let me go to my Jamboard. Because then it will be really obvious. And 
you're going to tell me which one is an annotation and which one is the thing. Okay, so you uh, now I have to share that. Okay, so you see this? Yes, I do. Okay, and we've gone over this. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight something. You tell me if it's the thing or if it's an annotation. Is that part thing. of the? That's the thing. Annotation. Annotation. Thing. Annotation. Right. Thing. Yeah. So you got it. So if if it's the thing, we call it the model. We could easily call it the thing. Right? We could call it thing space. Are, have you done any 3D printing? There's a thing called thingiverse. Because that's where you put things. No, I have not. I know I have not. Okay. It's kind of cool. So, but you get it. Those are things. Anything that you write that describes the thing is an annotation. So watch. I'm going to put another another Is that a thing or an annotation? An annotation. Exactly. You've got it. You know it inside yourself. And so yes, now... But I didn't understand. What I didn't understand is what she meant by annotation layers. Right. So, so here's what we do. How do I make it so I see just the thing really quick? In AutoCAD, I would turn off the annotation layer... I would turn the light bulb off and the annotations wouldn't show anymore. And I could only pay attention to the thing. Okay? And so I want to set up my layers so that when I write an annotation, it's on a layer of its own that I can turn on and off. So these would go on the text layer, or the dim layer, or the notes layer, because those are my annotation layers, because they're not but part of the exactly, thing. But how exactly do I build the annotation layers? How do I distinguish the difference you, between the thing and the thing? You just do it in, you just, you just know that you've called it something, right? You just set it up, it's, it's up to you and your brain. Okay, you're just going to call, so look, text, is that going to be on a, an annotation layer or a thing layer? Text. Annotation layer. Right. And so you just know, all text is on its own layer, it's an annotation, I can turn it on and off. Okay. Um, how about this weird note right here? That would be on a weird note layer. Is that an annotation layer or a... A thing layer. That's a uh, annotation layer. Yep. When you draw the geometry lines, is that a thing layer or an annotation layer? Thing layer. Yep. And so look, you know inside yourself what type of layer it is. You just make a layer for the types of things you're going to draw, and then you know. Now, if it's, a, if it's a layer that's on annotation, is it going to go in model space or paper space? It's going to um, go in, I guess, paper space. Yep. Because I said all annotations go on paper space. So okay. what is paper space? It's literally a piece of paper in AutoCAD. It's their version of a piece of paper. It's like a picture. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> right? How do I access it? Okay, so go back and share, share your screen.
Share your AutoCAD. I'm having trouble sharing. I, it won't, won't oh, really oh, sorry. That's because I'm, I'm hogging the sharing. There you go. Now you can. Let's see. So where, so where is it? Show me your AutoCAD again. I can't see it yet. I'm on it right now. Are you sharing a window? I'm sharing the entire screen. I don't see anything. Did you say share share the application or share the window like you did before? Uh, yes, um, okay, there, uh, where do I find it? There you go. Okay, so now, go to the lower left corner, lower left corner, and you see the thing that says model? That's your yeah. thing. That's where your thing line goes, model line. Go to layout one. Click on it. Yeah, I see. That's your piece of paper. It even looks like a piece of paper, right? Now, yeah. now go along the bottom to almost the middle. You see the thing that says paper at the bottom? Where right. Is paper? I don't... right next. There it is. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So now you just click on it and it says model now. So go click on model. Not that one. The one that go back to layout. Go back to where it said that click there. It says paper. You're working on your piece of paper. Anything you draw there is going to be on the piece of paper. So what layer will be active when it says paper? One of your annotation layers. So so you, so, 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 so like um so like how do I build an annotation layer? So go to layer properties. Make a new layer. And call it text. Now is that going to be annotation or model? Annotation. So if you want, you can write dash anno for annotation. There you go. And now, what kind of line will text be? It'll be a continuous line, right? So change that line type to continuous. Okay. okay. And what color will it be? I made mine blue, but it won't matter, right? It, it's set now. Now you have an annotation layer. Okay, you just made one. You made a text. Now make it current. So that's the green check mark. There you go. Okay. Now you can close this. Now draw a line. And we'll pretend that that's a piece of text, right? Yeah. Okay. So that you just put it text on the paper. It's on the paper. Go back now to the lower left model. See, you don't see that line anymore. It was a piece of text. I don't want it on the thing. I want to see it on my paper. So go back to layout one. It's on your piece of paper. Yeah, but I want to, I want to do the text. Okay, I haven't really showed that yet, but I did a little bit. Type type the word type the letter D T. D T. Just type it. D T in the command line. D T. Enter. Click somewhere. Anywhere. Click anywhere. Okay? Now it's asking you for the text type. Point two is pretty good. Just hit, just put hit enter. And it's going to be straight across. Hit enter. 
Now start typing anything you want. Say, Prop Schuster is so confusing. I can't believe how confusing Prop Schuster is. And it'll show up. Uh, not always. <laughs> it's not. There we go. And when you're done typing, you just hit enter. There, you made text. How do I make, how do I make that? A, how do I make my text a layer? And it, a it, layer? It's on the layer. So that text you just wrote is on the layer because go up to the go up to the top. See what? See the little box? You're on that layer. So if you Whatever layer is showing up there, when you do anything, it, it is assigned to that layer. If you want to change it, you can click on it and click a different layer. So the layer is a grouping, and when you make anything, it's assigned to the layer that shows in that box. Okay. So go back to go back to your model. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Click on that. Click no, don't stay right where you are. Click on the line that we did on the piece of paper. Click on that. See what okay. what it says up in the box? It says it's on the text-ano layer, right? Wait, my text dash piano layer is my text. Yep. You can you can put anything on that layer. Okay. Let's say you wanted that to be a hidden line. How would you change that to be a hidden line? Yep. Yeah, Mr. Schuster, I think I think it was the I think it was that ISO thing you were talking about. Yep, that was really throwing you for a loop. So look, the layers are your own organization. But I'm telling you what it should be. But it's your organization. How do you want to organize things? Well, of course, when you write text, you want it to be on the text layer. Okay, but when you type or you do anything, whatever is in that box right there is what it is. But you can always change it. You can always change it. Now, I'm going to show you one other thing that's really cool. Okay, click the little triangle next to the text piano. Click that little triangle. Now, I'm going to have you turn your text off. Click the light bulb and turn the light bulb off. Go ahead and say, okay, turn it off. It's gone. Wow. Now go turn it back on. There we go. Now turn your layer one hidden off. You have to you have to get it off the list. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's what you use layers for to turn things on and off. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Okay. So I I'm going to stop the recording now.